Hello everyone, welcome back to another Spurs in the Saddle. This one won't be a pure review on just the Brighton loss, it will be on also the Bayern loss and just a more of a chat in general. Um, I went to the Bayern game, I vlogged it, but I didn't release it. I needed time off and away from football after that result. Uh, took a couple of days off social media and I distanced myself from people in, in general as well because especially football people. Um, but uh, I just needed some time away from football and uh, did a lot of what I'm doing right now, which helps a lot. And then I thought, you know, Brighton, we can come back, you know, everyone was saying the right things, we need unity and we can play together, blah, blah, blah. I was like, you know what, I can speak louder than words, let's see what happens on Saturday. Nice 12.30, I thought, that's fine, I have a nice relaxing morning, go and watch the game and then come for a ride and we'll talk about it. Well, that's what we are doing, but the game just... <sighs> It just never ended after Bayern, like... So, we started the Bayern game so well. It was the Tottenham of old, the high pressing, the quick passing, it was beautiful. I was so excited, and then Sonny scored, it was gorgeous. The problem was, it stayed 1-0. We didn't capitalise on it, and then they equalised. And after that, they just slowly started to get more control. And then towards the end of a half, they obviously just took all the control and they scored. Now, 2-1 at halftime, while it's not ideal, it gives no right to professional football players to not come out and perform in the second half. I thought if we could perform the way we did in the first half, start at the same intensity, then we could easily get back into this game. Because 2-1, then nothing's lost. But we didn't start playing. We didn't play football in the second half at all. So, um, unfortunately... The second half just went more downhill, it very quickly turned into 3-1 and 4-1. Uh, we pulled one back at 4-2. At that point, you know, you're always faced with a decision of whether is it worth going for it or not. And thankfully we did go for it. Thankfully, you know, it's not like we just sat back and wanted to damage control, which, you know, some ha sometimes you need to do. Sometimes, you know, when you're already 4-2 down, it was more like there was a chance that we could have got to 4-3, 4-4. Obviously, if you take all your midfielders off, there's always going to be a chance that you concede. And, uh, and that's exactly what happened, unfortunately. We just kept conceding and it went up to 7-2 in the end. First time in our history we ever conceded seven goals at home in any competition. Um, unfortunately, uh, that's very embarrassing. And uh, it left us with a lot of question marks. Uh, a lot of individual errors, almost all the goals came from individual errors and Bayern punished us. I had a feeling at Southampton that, you know, if they would have been stronger against 10 men, they should have buried us, but they didn't. Maybe that was paper of the cracks um, of that performance. But, um, but you know, we had today to get back at things. And then first minute, second minute, third minute, whatever, Hugo fumbles and gets himself injured as well while conceding a goal. Um, and it just went downhill from that. We didn't, you know, we lost our captain. Even though Harry Kane was captain, we never gave him the ball enough. And it just fell apart. There's absolutely no team play on there. Winks came on the second half. We looked a little bit livelier. But it, we just never played as a team. Um, Brighton tore us apart. They played some lovely football, so fair play to Brighton. But unfortunately, right now, there are a lot of questions that need to be answered. We shouldn't be playing certain players. We don't want to play for the badge. And uh, oh, there's a beautiful dog up front. Um, and... Uh, and, you know, it's the international break, so it's going to be tough. It's going to be a tough two weeks until we're back in action. So, interested to see how things are. Um, I'm going to back the manager until he's with us, for sure, because he's done amazingly. Um, but there are certain players who just don't want to perform, so maybe it's time we give a chance to Foyth and Sanchez, Tanganga, maybe. Um, play Winks a lot more, Delhi. I mean, not that Ericsson's performing that well anyway. So, anyway, let me know your thoughts. Um, don't be surprised if I'm a bit quieter from now on. But yeah, come on you Spurs.